Okay, so this is looking at the skull, and just to orient you, that's the front of the skull. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at some of the major bones here. So if you look, we have our coronal suture right here, and then in the front here, we are going to have the frontal bone. So this all is go going to be the frontal bone. This right here is going to be what we call the glabella. I'm gonna take the top of the skull off. Well, before we get to that, let's go, let's go here real quick. These are my parietal bones. This is parietal bone here and here. You have two parietal bones, as you can see, and I have the sagittal suture separating those. So now if I take this off and go on the inside, we will see the inside of the frontal bone. So all up in here is my frontal bone, not this here. This part right here is going to be the lesser wing of my sphenoid. But this is all frontal bone that's up in here. And then if you notice, we have this structure that's right in here. This is going to be part of my ethmoid bone. We have two things here. If you notice, we have these little holes right there. These, this whole part right here is called the cribriform plate. And the nerves from your nose are actually going to come in through these or pass through these. And then they're going to go into parts of the brain and they're going to help you smell. So let, let me see if I can get a little bit closer right there. That's the cribriform plate right there. Now, if you notice, we also have this little piece sticking up right here. That's also part of my ethmoid bone, and that's called the crystagallin. Your brain actually attaches to that. That's one of the areas your brain attaches to, to uh, help hold it in place, all right? So that's the frontal bone. And then also part of the top of the eye socket is going to be frontal bone also. So if we continue looking, I already did the parietal bones. There's really not a whole lot to the parietal bones other than what I've already showed you. But let's look at the back of this right now. And if I put this back on, right, like that. And if we look at the back, so once again, to orient you, this is the front. I'm going to be here in the back, the posterior part of this skull. And what we'll see down in here is there's actually a little bump that's right in here. And this is called your external occipital protuberance. If you feel the back of your head, you will actually feel the external occipital protuberance. It's a little bump that uh, is on there. And what happens with that is that's where ligaments from your spinal column attach to. If I flip this totally upside down now, we are going to see these round parts that are right in here. If I go at a little bit of an angle, you might be able to see they're round. And that is going to be my occipital condyles here and here. That's occipital condyles. And then these are going to connect to C1. All right, the first cervical vertebrae. And then if we look, we have the foramen magnum right here. The foramen magnum is where your brain stem comes out and turns into the, your spinal cord. And then if I just go on the side right here, I am going to see the, right? And there's kind of like a heart-shaped, kind of like a heart-shaped foramen right there. That is going to be my jugular foramen. I have a jugular foramen on this side and also a jugular foramen on this side okay so that's the parts of the skull that well that's the frontal bone and the parietal bones and the occipital bone so really quick all back in here if we look we can see right here this is called my lambdoid suture right and then everything below that is the occipital bone up to the beginning of the or the anterior portion of the frame of magnum so that's the uh, frontal bone, temporal bone, and the occipital bone. Thanks for watching.